Abu Dhabi preparing for the fight. Yeah, it's going good, going well. Uh, hungry, no food, you know, on diet. I'm fighting ex champion Robert Whitaker, one of the best guys in the world, you know, in the MMA. Now is my time, I'm ready for that. So pretty much of the camp is done, you know. Now we just maintain things going. Just keep the body going, keep his mind sharp, and make it all the things we've been working work as a natural reaction. We're really excited for the fight, you know. We're also big fan of Robert Whitaker, but now, as Kamsa said before, it's, a, it's his time now. This fight means a lot to me, like all the others I had. One more step I have to make in my professional career. I prepare myself for the victory. I don't have any doubts that it's going to be your only option this Saturday. This is what I have been talking about during this whole process, right? No one is on my level right now. And at this time, at this point in the, in the mixed martial arts, I feel like I evolved the game. So I'm going to prove it once again, October 26. I think Max is not ready what, for what's coming for him. He, he called himself a problem solver, but I have many doubts that he's going to solve this problem calling El Matador. Ilya is very talented, you know, it's not only the talent, but uh, he's developing all the time. He's grappling, he's boxing. There is nobody just right now, especially in his weight class, who can match him. He's feeling good and strong, fast, explosive. All the respect to Max, you know, but uh, Ilya is here, you know, to, to be a champion, to be a BMF. Now it's his time. Tres. Round two. <sighs> Dude, just gotta have fun, man. Kill some time. Uh, we came here the other day last week and they invited us back and dude, kid from Hawaii, you just can't turn down some waves, so we try to get a little barrel before we train tonight and that's it man, having fun. <laughs> you should just boogie board. <laughs> Come on bro, this is experts on. Relaxing with the fellows, man, and then uh, watching the boys catch some waves. Jumped on the boogie board with them, so it's been a lot of fun. Great, great spirits, great energy. Just coming out and surfing, just reminds them of Hawaii. Uh, Skyler's here, Ian's here, so it's just got like a family, home team vibe to it. So it's uh, spirits are real high today. Tonight we'll get some training in, uh, then you know Tuesday normal check in, and then it's you know it's fight week mentality. Dan's fighting Lerone Murphy, um, one of the best featherweights in the world, undefeated prospect. He's a he's a very good. Uh, very good opponent for Dan and uh, all the love and respect for these guys. So fun, so much fun. I am uh, had to cut myself short though, I don't want to get <laughs> too drilled before the fight, but you know, that's what we do. We're practicing taking risk. So you take risks in the fight, you got to take risks in the real world too. And here we are, we made it out in one piece. I got a barrel, oh man, time of my life. We always been having like tough uh, fighters, like we had uh, two UFC champions before that, Blahovic, which Alex were kind of winning uh, totally big time, and he blew his knee out. At UFC 300, he fought Yuri Praska, an antibiotic, and you saw what happened. First round he was totally dominating, and second round he just, when he was sitting on the stool, he told me, Coach, I don't feel my legs. We never told anybody, but you know, past is best. Unfortunately, we've been having a, like a black cloud over us, but this camp, we have like great feeling for this fight. Like, people don't know who they're dealing with, and we like this, you know. This is the only guy that, that can stop Pereira, without a doubt. He's, he's the only guy.
I just came last night. We're coming from Austria, Vienna, so we had like a five hours flight and the time difference is just two hours. We don't have any jet lag, we have nothing, you know. You never know where the fight gonna go. We gonna we did our homework in all aspects of the of the game. Uh, brought some sparring partners from Vienna and we did our best, put everything together Saturday night. I feel very good, not good, very good. I can't wait to the fight week is starting, the obligation starts and then finally the fight, I'm really hyped for that one. I'm here for a reason, I want to fight the best. The fans uh, are going to expect Saturday night fireworks from the one and only Perfect. Rocket. Max is a very self-aware person. You know, he, he understands what he needs. He doesn't hide from the hard work. And, he, and Max understands, it takes what it takes. Preparation's there, he's known for his cardio, of course, and whatnot. Um, his focus is just tremendous right now. You know, his, his focus where he's at right now mentally is just uh, extremely motivating for all of us. There's a different level of maturity um, involved right now. The, the hunger is there, the drive is there, whatnot, but there's a different intensity. I think that we all feel you know, and uh, it's, it's uh, very inspiring, very motivating for all of us to want to do the best for him. I feel like he gets better every fight. He doesn't know his limits. A lot of people, I think, they put a limit on himself, but as he always says, everyone only remembers you from the last fight, and I think he always tries to go past what everyone remembered him for. He feels like, you know, when you get stuck in the sand and the more you try to fight it, you get more stuck. That's what it feels like when you're sparring him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I feel that this is very important for Rilia to be with close people and feel the good energy, you know. It's always good to be, to surround yourself with your close people. We are like in this preparation of more than three months, so the job is done. Now we have to cut the weight and give a great fight. We arrived on, on Saturday. Some drills of grappling, some drills in the, in the striking just to keep sweating for the weight cut. I feel very excited, to be honest. No one could take his lights out, and I feel very excited to be the first man to, to knock him out. And actually, if he stays in the middle of the octagon, I will knock him out in the first 10 seconds, and you're gonna see the fastest knockout in the UFC history. Just don't blink, and extremely in the first 10 seconds, because it's gonna be the most excited first 10 seconds of the UFC and the mixed martial arts history. Oh, 